I just received my chassis back from Gunblade and hopefully this is the last time that I have to disassemble this CRT and I'm going to put it into the cabinet and then finish up the wiring. Hi all, I finally got some time to work on the Jalico Low Pro again and hopefully in this video we are going to get it working. So we have our pull-out gain board and at the moment I have my Neo Geo 4 slot because I know that works with the power supply. We don't have a game in it because I can't fit one in when the monitor's in but we can get a test pattern and the test pattern is going to be more useful to me in a moment. We have a wiring harness that I made which goes to the buttons and the control buttons. I haven't wired a pull 6 because that would mess up with the ground on some of the other games. That's going down to the power harness, which I'll turn around the cabinet and show you in a second. So let's just slide that back down. Nothing is fixed permanent until I've got everything working. So in the back we have the US 250, which is going to provide power for the game and for the monitor. We have a simple fuse block on the side which goes up to the harness. You can see the game board on the drawer. This is the lead for the RGB. We've then got the power lead for the monitor and the mains lead for the game. Um, so the next thing is to put the monitor in, wire it up, switch it on, see what happens. Okay, so it's got to go up over the Neo Geo. And then lift it up far enough to not trap my fingers and go over the two screws that are holding everything in place. Ooh. So let's just place that back on top, turn it around again. So we've got the, the wire for well that's no good. Okay I'm gonna to have to change that, that's the wrong connector for this. Originally this was um, C, A and G chassis that was in here but I've changed it to this MTC9110. So let's put the RGB connection on. So that goes on. Then have the power. And I'll have to tidy this up a bit more so that things are not crossing. And now we just need to put on a lug for this earth. Sorry, this is a bit messy. But I don't really have much space anymore. Um, I'm, in, I'm going to be moving to another workshop soon, which is on the ground floor. So this is just a chassis ground which goes from the metal work of the monitor and that's going to get screwed in to the power supply. Okay. 
Okay. So we have the monitor power, our RGB, our game is connected up over here. So that should be it. All right, let's final check things. Man, I'm nervous as hell. I spent so much money getting this monitor working. Right, so I have everything connected up and um, I've got my RCD ready to plug the game in. So game is plugged in. Power switched on. Trip is on. We have HV. We have picture. So result number one. Now we need to make quite a lot of adjustments on the picture. It doesn't look particularly good. And it needs degaussing as well because, um, like I showed you, the, the circuit for the degaussing isn't right. So you can see how bad the adjustments are out. But it's working. Oh, I'm so happy. So I need to make an adapter for the degauss. Let's see what I can do with my degauss gun. So let's try this degaussing one. I don't like to use it for too long because it gets really hot. Oh, just that top corner. That's better. I mean, it, it still needs a lot of tweaking, but at least it's all blue now. I'll leave it like that for the moment. Um, let's see if I can use the camera to adjust the monitor from the back. How does that look? That's not bad. So I'm going to have to work on the purity from the looks of it because the red text is quite bad green yeah so I'm still gonna to have to do quite a lot of work Um, but I think that's enough for the moment. Wow, that fan really is noisy, Gunblade. I need to make a better one of these.
So that's just going to go around there. And then that is going on the top. So what do we think to that? So that is my Jalico Low Pro. Now with working monitor and currently just a Neo Geo and I'm just going to plug in Puzzle Bubble and for the moment we'll just leave it out like that. I can get to the controls and everything. There's no speaker wired up at the moment. That looks pretty good. kind of not the same without the sound. So much harder when you haven't got the guide. Oh, I messed that up big time. So thanks for watching this Jalico Low Pro update. Thanks to Gunblade for repairing the monitor for me. And also thanks to Techno Service in Spain um, for all the help that he gave me as well. And thank you all for watching.